Hi, I'm Nixie, and today, to celebrate the fact that the Barbie movie is going to be released this Friday, I'm going to make a very pink Barbie-themed room. So to start out, I used an A1 size piece of foam board, which I cut down to 14 inches and then folded. I stuck some bright pink paper on and some white paper just for a skirting board. So the flooring is two bits of scrapbook paper stuck together. I also cut out a window and just framed it with some painted white sort of coffee stir sticks. And I also just trimmed it with these sort of temporary curtains. I haven't fully decided what I want by with curtains, so I've just gone with this for now. Also, just a fun fact, this photo that I've printed as the view from the window is actually the view from my childhood bedroom at my parents' house. I visited them recently and took this photo because it's better than my view from my current bedroom, which is of another house. So first thing to start with, we're getting a bed in here because we need to sort of know the space. So this is the bed I constructed. I essentially just used a lot of sort of corrugated cardboard just to make a sort of bed shape and covered it with this nice sort of pink, like a um, velvety material. So that's the bed. Now, of course, we do need a mattress. For that, I've got this bit of like packaging foam and a piece of white material, which I am literally just going to hot glue around it to then put on. So we're just going to glue along at the edges and fold them over. So with the mattress, I'm just going to place it down. Now I could glue it, but it's also useful to maybe have it removable to maybe use on a different bed at another point. Now the bed I did possibly make a tiny bit taller than maybe I should have, but I think it's going to work. And I think I will be putting it over here. So now of course we need some bedding and I found myself this really cute Barbie pink material. So I had to use this. In the past I've tried to put like some felt inside to give it a bit of thickness, but I don't know, it's just never been that great. It's a bit stiff. So I've literally just sewn two pieces together that we can put on the bed. And of course pillows. So I've made two of these. So next to the bed I did just make this little bedside table out of some foam board and I covered it with some uh, wood effect paper. So just gonna put that there. But we of course do need to put something on it and I think a bedside lamp would be the best. So for the lamp I've painted this wooden bead in silver to be the base. I've also um, painted this wooden dowel, I've cut it down and painted silver. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Next, I've cut three bits of corrugated cardboard, which I am going to stick them all together. And then I'm going to stick them to the top of the wooden dowel. For the shade, I've got this pink paper, which I will be sticking around. But it's Barbie, you've got to be a bit more glam than that. So I found this ribbon, which I've cut down to the right size, and it's got these pink gems on. So this is stuck to some sticky paper. So it won't be like that, it's gonna go around it. So let's get this stuck, and then we will have our lamp. And there we are, a cute little lamp to go on our bedside table. And so here is the lamp we've just made, and we'll just pop it on there. Now for Amazon, I do have this pink chair. It's actually a jewellery box, but I think it's quite a good Barbie size. So I think we might put that in the room. Or I do have this dressing table, which comes with a footstool, which again, it is meant to be a jewellery box, has a working drawer. So maybe one, maybe two of those items. I just think they're quite cute. And like I said, they seemed a really good size for Barbie for actually being jewellery boxes. So we've got some nice pink plush furniture. Now this floor space here is looking a bit empty, so I think we need something to fill it. So for the rug I've got this bit of pink felt that I've cut into a circle. I'm then going to use this pink wool to make a twist, like this. And then I'm going to use glue and glue it down into a circle.
I'm just going to neaten it up and just trim just the slight excess felt around the outside. And there we go. It's quite a cute little rug to go in our room. Okay, and here is the rug in situ. Maybe it could have done with being a tiny bit bigger, but that's all the twist I managed to get. You have to sort of pull it out quite a long distance. It was like all the way across my living room to be able to get that twist. So this is the size we're going with. So I'm going to make some shelves, but I don't want them to be permanent in the room. I want to be able to at least maybe move them about in case I change up how I want this room to look. So this bit of paper is from the cutout when I made the window. And I've got some more bits of foam board, which again, I've covered in the same sort of wood effect um, paper that I used on the bedside cabinet. And what I was thinking, if I glue all of these pieces together, then cut down the paper so it sort of fits round it, then I can maybe try blue tack this to the wall Hopefully it'll be strong enough. I'll have to see, maybe we'll just put some light things on the shelves and that way they won't be permanent. All right, so I'm just gonna go along these. shelving unit and I'm just going to cut all the way around it now. So I've got my shelving unit now and a load of blue tack and I think I'm going to put that here. Now I'm not sure how much weight it's going to hold so like I said I'm just going to probably stick with some lighter things on it. So I'm just going to add some clutter so we've got some of the mini fashion items. Just go on the dressing table. I've got just a bunch of like little Barbie bracelets and scrunchies. I think just anything just to make it a little bit more busy. Got a little mini fashion purse as well. Now I do have this Hot Wheels Barbie Corvette from the Barbie movie. Let's hope the weight will work. I'll put it on this side and yeah it does. Do have a little pink teddy bear we can just pop that in too i have this barbie from micro toy box which i think ought to have a place on the shelf i've also got this cute little barbie handbag i think we could put that up there too but you know what i actually have a doll torn box that i think would suit this room really well so barbie extra number 14 she's got this really cool uh Barbie top and skirt which it just makes her feel perfect to include for this bedroom. So let's get her out of the box and check her out. Just before we do his quick look on the back of the box just because I think the artwork's really pretty. So it shows the doll, some other dolls in the series and all the accessories that she comes with. So here she is out of the box. Now as you can see she has four twists in her hair, a smaller one and a thick one on each side. Her hair is a mixture of very dark brown and there's just a slightly lighter bit of brown in there too. Her face screening is quite clear, she's got light brown eyes, some pink eyeshadow and pink lips and she's got these painted edges. Her earrings are white and they do say Barbie, however they are not removable. She has three necklaces, a thin silver one, a slightly thicker silver one, and then this Barbie 1980 metallic chain. She's wearing a pink coat that's got these sort of long tinsley bits. Underneath she has a sleeveless top which says Barbie and a matching skirt. Both these items do velcro in the back. On her wrist she has a silver spiky bracelet, a white pearl bracelet and this Barbie sort of hand ring. By way of shoes, she has these white trainers. And this doll is a curvy bodied Barbie. So just taking her jacket off to check out her articulation, like all Barbie X dolls, she has movement at the head, at the shoulder, at the wrist, but it's just a single bend, not double jointed. She has movement at the wrist. She has movement at 
the hip, at the knee, which again is just a single, and nothing at the ankle. Now unfortunately my doll came with quite messy hair, so even though it's in these really cool twists, I'd essentially have to take it out because as you can see it's just a bit, well, it's not very neat and I think that's going to bug me. By way of accessories we have these pink heart shaped glasses, this little Barbie, I assume, purse. It kind of looks like a Barbie carry case but it does open. This dog with pink ears and a pink collar which also comes with its own car which I think suits the name this is Barbie Extra and that's pretty extra that this dog has its own car. Now personally I do admit I would probably have preferred some more accessories for Barbie just because I'm not really going to make as much use out of this but I guess it's kind of cute and the wheels they do move. Oops, sorry dog. So her outfit it does match a bit with the bedding maybe not quite colour wise but the logo's following through, which like I said, that's kind of why I really wanted to open her up and get her for this room, just because she fitted in so well. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm just going to remove these two silver necklaces, because I do have, and I think this was from a different Barbie extra, this little Barbie other necklace, so it kind of matches her earrings. And we're just going to have as much Barbie as possible. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. You know what, it, it's, we're having a Barbie fest here because honestly everything's Barbie at the moment. You know what, I think I'm just going to add this onto our shelf up here. And you know what, the dog will just plonk it in the room too. Just going to add some finishing touches. Got a bit of greenery, can't all be pink, so just going to put plant there. And a Barbie movie poster because, you know, it's coming out this Friday, I can't wait. I think we need to celebrate. So I'm just going to put this above the bed, just sort of do it slightly wonky, being a poster. And you know what? I think we have quite a pink room now. So here we have our finished very pink room ready for Barbie. Now do let me know will you'll be seeing the Barbie movie this Friday when it launches because personally I cannot wait. But thanks very much for watching my very pink Barbie room creation. If you like this video, please do hit thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please do subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!